following program is sponsored by CBN. Well, welcome to the 700 Club. In the Middle East, parts of Africa and Asia, it's dangerous to be a follower of Jesus Christ. A new report says more than 245 million Christians worldwide are highly persecuted for their faith. Every year, the watchdog group Open Doors releases a list of countries that are the worst persecutors of Christians. CBN's White House correspondent Ben Kennedy has a closer look. The Trump administration makes religious freedom a priority. Case in point, fighting for the release of Pastor Andrew Brunson from Turkey. But there is more the government can do, and that's really the backbone behind this list. Oh, you who believe, answer the call. The spread of radical Islam increases the danger for Christians worldwide. Many Christians are being killed because of their faith, and I know many families that they have lost so many uh, family members because of their faith. Father Daniel preaches to nearly 200 families in Iraq where he faces intense persecution by Al-Qaeda. You told me many priests are leaving because it's quite frankly not safe. Why are you staying? Well, I'm staying because uh, to stay with my people. So this is the only thing which is keeping me uh, staying there and working with them because they need help now urgently. So if I'm not going to be there who's going to help them each year the watchdog group open doors usa documents the most oppressive and restrictive countries for christians topping the list is north korea followed by afghanistan somalia libya and pakistan we believe now based upon our research that there's over 245 million christians who live in areas of extreme or high persecution it's a lot he adds that violence against Christians increased dramatically this past year in China. They moved up from number 41 to number 27 on the list. That's a big jump. It's a huge jump and it shows that things are getting more difficult for China and it's a big church so a lot of people, millions of people are affected. North Korea remains number one for the 18th year in a row despite talks between President Trump and dictator Kim Jong-un. I would love to see human rights be a part of the discussion when you're talking about nuclear arms because you can tell within 30, 60, 90 days if conditions have improved for Christians that are in the labor camps. Right now there's over 60,000 Christians in labor camps in North Korea. A lot of people don't know that. Vice President Mike Pence reaffirmed that the White House will always be a champion champion for people of faith. Protecting and promoting religious freedom is a foreign policy priority of this administration. Ben Kennedy, CBN News, the White House. In other news, Democrats are demanding new investigations. After a report claims President Trump told former attorney Michael Cohen to lie to Congress. Ephraim Graham has more from the CBN newsroom. Gordon, the report from BuzzFeed News cites two anonymous law enforcement officials who say Cohen admitted to the special prosecutor the president told him to lie about a developing business deal with Russia. According to the report, Cohen says he told Congress the business negotiations ended months earlier than they actually did to minimize Mr. Trump's involvement with Russia. The president's attorney, Rudy Giuliani, fired back saying, if you believe Cohen, I can get you a great deal on the Brooklyn Bridge. The BuzzFeed report says the claim is supported by other witnesses, emails, text messages, and documents from within the Trump administration. The second lady of the United States is returning to the classroom to teach art, but news Karen Pence will teach at an elementary school in Northern Virginia is being met with criticism. Teachers at Emanuel Christian School must sign a statement, marriage is the uniting of one man and one woman. That traditional marriage policy stole the headlines and a CNN op-ed charged the Pence's with, quote, astonishing moral hypocrisy. In an interview with Eternal World Television Network, the vice president took the media to task. My wife and I have been in the public eye for quite a while. Uh, we're used to the criticism, but, but I have to tell you, to see major news organizations uh, attacking Christian education uh, is deeply offensive to us. This criticism of Christian education in America should stop. Mrs. Pence previously taught at the school for 12 years. For more on this story and others, go to CBNNews.com. Stay with us. We'll be right back with more today's 700 Club right after this. Chantel Ray started out with an entry-level job making just $9 an hour. 
Well, today she owns a multi-million dollar real estate business. She's living her dream and well on her way to her ultimate goal, giving away 90% of her income. Chantelle Ray is the name behind a multi-million dollar real estate company. To date, she has 130 employees and five locations. Every year we've grown by at least 40% or more. Years ago, Chantelle was struggling with an entry-level job and a meager salary. Her definition of success then was having enough food and a roof over her head. I was making $9 an hour, 20 hours a week. I was barely able to buy groceries. I had a really hard time paying rent. So I was using my credit card for gas, using my credit card for groceries because I just didn't have the money. After several years of making only minimum payments, Chantel maxed out her card and was $10,000 in debt. The worst part was when I went to the grocery store and my credit card got denied because I didn't have any more money left on my credit card. And that's when I thought, great, now I can't even buy food. During this time, Chantel heard a message on tithing. She was desperate enough to give it a try. I didn't have a lot of faith at that time, but I just knew that God was saying, okay, I want you to trust me. But I was like, the most I could possibly have is $30 in the account. So I wrote a check for $30. I was like the widow with the two bites. I literally gave everything I had in my account at that time. One week later, Chantel received a $300 refund check from her utility company. She continued to tithe faithfully and received another financial breakthrough. Her aunt paid off her $10,000 credit card debt. My aunt just called me and was like, listen, I just decided I want to pay off your credit card. And I was like, what? Just kind of bouncing up and down. And I was like, oh my gosh, you did provide for me. Soon after, she was listening to a podcast about giving away 90%. Chantel felt God telling her to do the same. I'm like, what? You want me to give 90%? I just started at 10. But Chantel knew she could trust God with her money. And so I decided to give 3% of my income extra over and above the 10%. And my goal was by the time I'm 54 years old, I'll give 90% of my income away. And two years after that, she felt God leading her to launch a career in real estate and saw another dramatic increase in her income. I sold more houses my first year in real estate than any other first year person. As I was faithful, he was faithful as well. Chantel married Ryan and together they have two children. She loves teaching their son Kyle about giving by showing him how much to give God from his $10 allowance. One of those dollars you're gonna give back to God, one of them you're gonna save, and then the rest of them you can choose to save, you can choose to give more, or you can choose to spend the rest. The reason I like giving my allowance is because then I can help other people. The rest of Chantel's success story can be read in the bottom line of her own real estate company. And she's quick to give God all the credit. It's about your heart. What you sow is what you reap. And God is very faithful. When he says, you know, trust me in this. As you give, I will give back to you. I'm a perfect example of him being true to his promises. And here's the promise for you. It's from Proverbs chapter 3. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Chantel did that and you see the result. That can happen to you if you just follow what he tells you to do. Well, Joe was looking for a way to supplement his income, so he asked God for help. Well, that prayer turned into an idea, and that idea turned into a thriving business. Joe Brignolo loves spending time with his wife, Donna. As a business owner approaching retirement, he's always wanted to provide a life they can enjoy. My prayer was that God would give me a witty invention that would enable me to kind of like make a couple hundred bucks a week, you know, through my retirement, kind of hang out, have some fun. When the two married in 2003, Joe became a Christian and learned about tithing from Donna. Well, I thought it was ridiculous, to be quite blunt with you. I don't see why I should be giving my hard-earned money into some place where I don't know where it's going to go. And she informed me that it's not my money. And she showed me scriptures. I know the principle is if you give, you know, you will receive. And 
and I just think over time he decided he would try it. But that's all God asks us to do. He even says, put me to the test. Trust me now. See if I will not open up the windows of heaven and pour a blessing out upon you that you cannot contain. Joe decided to tithe. He couldn't believe what happened next. Within one hour after I gave my first tithe, I had a $3,300 debt reversed. One hour. I tithed, an hour later, I didn't know $3,300. 24 hours later, somebody owed me $3,000. They paid me, and I didn't ever think I was gonna get that money. I'm <laughs> thinking, wait a minute, guess what? I see the principal. At the time, Joe was a consultant for the Department of Energy. With every check he received, he continued to tithe. He also began giving to CBN. I was watching the 700 Club one day, and they were talking about clean water for people all over the world. And I'm thinking, man, I'll tell you what, that is so cool. Because I'm a big water guy. I mean, I like clean water. I know that there's a limited amount of water on this planet. And I said, I'm gonna start giving to the Wells and Cisterns program. Even when finances were tight, okay. they remained faithful in their giving. I realized that through the 700 Club that the money that I was giving them, God's money, they were doing God's work with. And I didn't want that to stop because they were providing water for people and then those people were coming to Christ. As he gave, Joe began asking God for direction about his next business. Then while working in his RV, he had an idea to change the fluorescent lights to LED lighting. So I'm still praying. God, please give me a witty invention. God says to me, I gave you something already. Like, really, like what else do you want me to do? Later, Joe took the RV in for maintenance. The parts manager noticed his light invention. He walks in my rig to ride it up. He looks up, he says, where'd you get that? I said, well, I made it. He says, is it patented? I said, it's pending. He says, I want 250 of them. And I'm thinking, wow, yay God, this is pretty cool. Joe realized God had given him the invention he'd been praying for. From that sale, Joe created Cabin Bright. I started that company with that one product. Now we have over 150 products. We sell to dealers and distributors all over the country. And God gave me that idea. Today, Joe's business is thriving. And the couple is giving to CBN at the Founders Club level. And they say it's through faithful giving that blessings flow. If he's done it before, he'll do it again. He's faithful. I am completely and totally blessed by the grace of God and my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. When you're faithful to God, He's gonna be faithful to you and your soul's gonna prosper. And that's the feeling that no one can take away from me. When you're faithful to Him, your soul is going to prosper. But here's something else that comes, you get answers to your prayer. First, Job put everything into, into perspective. He says, I'm going to be faithful. I'm going to live God, God's way. I'm going to do it His way. And then he put all that in line. And then he said, Lord, I want an invention. Could you give me an invention? And he put into practice something I think all Christians should do. You should, should pray and ask God for specific things. Here's God's phone number. It's called from Jeremiah, Jeremiah 33, 3. Call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Now, it's, it's, it's interesting to think of an LED light for an RV as a great and mighty thing, but that was. That one idea turned into a great and mighty thing for Joe. When you ask God, just be, be specific with your prayer and then be still and wait for the answer. Uh, and Joe didn't realize what he had been given. God had to tell him a second time. And so in your prayer for an answer, pray also that God would give you ears to hear that you would know what he's telling you to do. If you do that, you will get the same result. God has an infinite store of wonderful ideas and he longs to bless his children. What he's waiting for is for us, number one, to live life according to his word. And then number two, call to him and then he will answer you. I've got some wonderful news. We've got a whole array of partners from Texas to Oregon uh, to North Carolina. They want to issue a Texas size challenge, $163,000. What that
that means is they will match your giving dollar for dollar up to 163,000 and let's pray. Lord, we ask for a blessing over this and we ask for the increase that comes from you. That 30, 60, 100 fold increase. Lord, be with us. And as people are asking you and, and calling on you, just still their, their spirits, open their ears, open the eyes of their understanding and let your people hear. For we ask it all in Jesus' name, amen and amen. 163,000 is the challenge amount, 41 minutes, 48 seconds is on the clock. What are we asking you to do? Well, we're asking you to join the 700 Club. If you wanna see people helped around the world, if you wanna see the gospel preached around the world, Join the 700 Club. A portion of every gift goes into the work of Operation Blessing. Another portion goes into the work of CBN International. You're a part of everything we do when you join us. So call 1-800-700-7000. Terry? Well, I've got some great news for you. When you join the 700 Club, we have a wonderful gift for you. It's Pat Robertson's latest DVD teaching on one of the most powerful passages of Scripture, Psalm 91. It's called The I Wills of God. Take a look. CBN presents The I Wills of God, your path to overcoming fear and anxiety. We're going to talk about some of the incredible promises God has made to his children. In Pat Robertson's newest teaching, you'll discover the I wills of God. I will rescue him, protect him, answer him, be with him in trouble, deliver him, honor him, satisfy him with long life, show him my salvation, and see amazing stories of God's promises in action. What I felt was loved and treasured. God spared my life twice in three days. The good Lord had given me a second chance. Break free from stress and despair. The Lord doesn't want you to live in fear, but to know the rewards given to those who love God. Call 1-800-700-7000 or visit CBN.com. The I Wills of God, your path to overcoming fear and anxiety. There are some incredible and miraculous stories on here that will really build your faith and also a wonderful teaching about the promises of God for you. We want you to have this. It's our gift to you when you join the 700 Club right now. So call our toll-free number, 1-800-700-7000. Tell us what club level you'd like to join at and everything you give will be matched dollar for dollar now. So give us a call, Gordon. Well, Charles and Julianne Fay had been used to living the high life. They dined in expensive restaurants and traveled the world. Then Charles decided to go into business for himself. And soon the couple was struggling financially and could only afford to share sandwiches. When Charles and Julianne Fay married, they were both successful in their careers. Julianne was a sought after fashion model and Charles had more than 30 years of experience as a corporate executive in sales and engineering. God has blessed me. I've been all over the world. I've met all kinds of people. I've been involved in all kinds of businesses. But Charles had very different views of money and giving than Julianne did. Well, I was more about saving than giving. I was focused on retirement. I was a conservative spender. Julianne had been a longtime supporter of CBN. She continued giving to CBN after they married and says she had good reason why. She'd almost died from an undiagnosed health condition. At 33, I suffered a brain aneurysm. So I knew I was dying. I, I called CBN for prayer. And the surgeon that finally got me after a week of misdiagnosis told everyone that I had a better chance of winning the lottery than living. I actually did the cover of a magazine three weeks later. Early in their marriage, when Charles' contract ended as an acquisition and merger advisor, it led to a huge shift in their lives. Now back at home, Charles decided to start his own consulting company in investment banking. It's 100% commission, and you get paid at closing. Sometimes it takes a long time to sell a business. I'm suddenly faced with no paycheck coming in, insufficient money for retirement. There's a lot of concerns and fears. It was scary. We were in retirement age. If anything went down or dipped, our future savings would be in severe trouble. With no set income and little money coming in, they cut back on their spending. Here's a couple that was used to dining out in the finest restaurants, traveling the world, and going to sharing sandwiches. A real financial awakening 
During this time, Charles and Julianne had Bible studies together. One day, Charles asked her what tithing was. Then I didn't know how to pronounce it. I called it tithing. And she laughed. I told him tithing was bringing 10% to the storehouse. It's God's money. So now when my stress level's here, I'm looking at tithing as the absolute impossible request and timing. But actually, it was the best time. Even though they weren't making a lot of money, they still made the decision to tithe to CBN. We didn't really have a church home, so we started tithing to CBN. I like the way they help people, like building wells. Our money's not going to handouts, it's hand up. They're bringing quality to life, starting with salvation. And they also help out here at home, uh, military families that are struggling. Then in 2014, they gave CBN a check for $5,000. Within a couple of months of making the gift, Charles closed on a $50,000 consulting deal for his firm. God rewarded us tenfold, just like he said he would. <laughs> and Julianne's modeling career really took off. My income doubled. I did so many infomercials. It was unbelievable how money was coming in, and at the right time. Today, Charles works as a merger and acquisition advisor for an investment banking company. And Julianne's modeling career isn't slowing down. They say they're in a great position to retire soon. They believe the reason they are so blessed is because they are givers. All the money that we have is really the Lord's money. He's just giving it to us temporarily. So why would we not give him back the 10% that he's asking for? When you give to the Lord, whether it be faith, money, your hopes, your prayers, it comes back so strong, you can't contain it. Charles and Julianne, they said, yes, we're going to start living life God's way. They had been, uh, you know, in the world's terms, on top of the world. And then when they get into financial trouble, uh, Charles starts asking, what's tithing? And, uh, you know, it's, it's humorous, but at the same time, very serious. When you understand the principle and the principles that God has laid down that govern the world, uh, and you start acting on them, then wonderful things start to happen. Psalm 91, it's one of the signature teachings of my father's life. And uh, he's finally put all of this into this DVD. I want you to have it. It's an amazing teaching, but here's just part of it. Here's what Psalm 91 says. He will call on me. Now, who's the he that will call on him? Uh, it's the righteous one. Uh, when, you're, when you're righteous, when you're living it God's way, God says he will call on me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. Now hold on that last part. I will deliver him and honor him. So here Charles and Julianne, they're in trouble and there's a promise of God, I will deliver him. And then he adds to it, I will honor him. Now just imagine this, the creator of the universe is promising to honor you. When you get that, when you understand that deep in your spirit, then no obstacle life can throw at you will ever get in your way. You'll be able to say, God is with me. I have confidence going forward. I will call to him. He will answer me. He will show me the way. He will deliver me. And then finally, he will honor me. What a wonderful thing. If you want to start doing that and say, I'm, I'm tired of living life my way. I want to live it God's way. Uh, call us, 1-800-700-7000. What are we asking for? We're asking you to join the 700 Club. If you want to see people helped around the world, if you want to see the gospel preached around the world, be a part of it. Join with tens of thousands of people that say, yes, I want to make a difference in the world today. Now, some of you can join at a higher level. We have 700 Club Gold for you at $40 a month. 1,000 Club, that's $1,000 a year, and that breaks out to $84 a month. We've got 2,500 Club, 2,500 a year, and then Founder, $5,000 a year. And then significantly, Chairman Circle, 10,000 or more a year at whatever level. Call us now, and when you call, I want you to have this. It's the I Wills of God. It's a wonderful DVD. And it's one of my father's signature teachings from his life and ministry. Uh, it's how God wants to. He does these things. He will satisfy you with long life. He will show you his salvation, but he will deliver you. He will honor you. 
What a wonderful thing. I want you to have it. It's yours when you call. 1-800-700-7000. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Thanks, Gordon. 40 million Americans suffer from anxiety. So if you're not one of them yourself, you may know someone who is. The antidote to anxiety and fear? It's right here in the eight I wills of God that Gordon was just talking about. Pat Robertson breaks them down as well in this new DVD with Scott Ross. I've heard you teach passages of scripture that could easily help people who are battling fear, another word, anxiety. And I'm wondering if you'd share some of that with our audience right, right now. Psalm 91. Scott, this is the great psalm of deliverance where it says, you shall not fear. I've counted up on that psalm the I wills of God, where God said, I will. And he said, I will rescue him. I will protect him. I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him. I will honor him. I will satisfy him with long life. And I will show him my salvation. When God says, I will, that's a promise from God and you can take it to the bank. God loves you. He wants to give you his peace. Hey, let's make fear and anxiety a thing of the past and 2019 the best year of your life. If that sounds like something you want to do, then you need to get a hold of this. The I wills of God. Discover how to overcome the fear and so much more. This is our gift to you when you call right now and say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. The toll-free number on your screen, or you can log on to CBN.com. Again, it's just 65 cents a day, $20 a month is all it takes to become a CBN partner and to help so many hurting people around the world. If you're already doing that, we want to say, thank you you are making a big difference but it's a brand new year let's let's go higher let's take it up to our gold level just call right now and say i want to go gold that's forty dollars a month when you do that we're going to bless you back with three dvds one for you two to give away if you can go higher we have many levels here let's take it up to our thousand club that's eighty four dollars a month or higher we're really going to bless you we're going to give you five of past you teaching the i wills of god one for you and four to give away we're in the middle of a challenge right now let's put that number up for you 163,000, 30 minutes left on the clock. Every dollar that you pledge right now will be doubled. Your gift will go twice as far. So this is a great time to go to your phones. Terry? Well, when you become a member of the 700 Club, you are literally helping people all over the world. People like this young mom from India named Sonia. Her husband is a rag picker and their family is desperately poor. Every day, Sonia makes four or five trips to a distant open pit well. She carries a bucket in one hand and her baby in the other. It's so hard to carry both the water and my baby. But I cannot leave her alone, unattended in the house. Between the bad water and the summer sun, the baby gets sick often. Sonia's husband works collecting and sorting garbage for recycling. But when the baby gets sick, the family doesn't have enough money for medicine. If I didn't have to go so far to get water, I could help my husband earn money. I want to take good care of my baby girl. But right now, all we are doing is surviving. When CBN dug a well in the heart of their village, Sonia and her neighbors rejoiced. They don't have to walk long distances in the oppressive heat any longer. I am so thankful. My daughter will no longer have to go out with me in the heat. And now I can look for the ways to earn some extra money. CBN helped Sonia do just that when we gave her a sewing machine. Now she can start a small business making and mending clothes. Thank you so much, CBN. I have had a tough life but you have brought much joy to me bless you all i marvel at the strength and tenacity of some of these women multiple trips a day to get water a baby in one arm and a heavy heavy container of water in the other you stepped right into the midst of that need and now that whole village is experiencing what it means to have clean water available to them. We say thank you. That's just one of the things you're doing if you're a 700 Club member. It's why we're asking you to join today because we really can make a difference. Here's how this works. We have multiple club levels that you can join at. There's a general membership.
membership, which is $20 a month, that works out to about 65 cents a day. Maybe you've already done that. Maybe you'd like to go up to 700 Club Gold, that's $40 a month. How about the 1,000 Club at $84 a month or the 2,500 Club at $209 a month? Our founders, founders join us at $5,000 a year and that works out to $417 a month. Some of you might have the capacity to become Chairman Circle members. These are friends who give gifts of $10,000 or more a year. When we all join together, no matter what we're giving, we can make a huge difference around the world. And so today, I'm asking you to go to your phone and become a part of this wonderful outreach with the love of God and some very practical help in the lives of people in desperate need. Call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Listen, we're in the middle of a big challenge. That means whatever you give right now is going to be doubled. Where do you get that kind of an opportunity? Will you get it here today? Please call. Gordon? All right, we've got this challenge. If we get the red number up, 113,000 left to go on a $163,000 challenge. And we're getting increases. People are responding. Wichita, Kansas. Here we have a thousand club members saying, I want to go to 2,500 club. Yes, $2,500. Awesome. Takes it down to 109,000. We're almost uh, uh, a third of the way there to our goal of 163,000. 26 minutes left on the clock. Call us now, 1 800 700 7000. Well, Jesse and Melissa are a military family who are fighting a losing battle against their student loan debt. And when their van broke down, they faced the prospect of having even more expenses until they got a visit from helping the home front. Right outside Fort Bragg, North Carolina, you'll find E-4 Army soldier Jesse spending time with his wife, Melissa, and their four children. Melissa is grateful that Jesse makes family time a priority. I'm really proud of him and I feel like he provides for our family and he's serving our country and so he's happy and I'm happy. Jesse feels Melissa's job taking care of the kids is just as critical. I almost feel like she has a harder job to be honest with you. Just having the, the mental strength like she does is incredible. When they got married, Melissa had finished college and intended to work to add to the family income. Their priorities changed as their family grew to six, and Melissa started homeschooling instead of pursuing a career. Through the years, Jesse's income alone couldn't keep up. Eventually, they were way behind on Melissa's student loan payments. It feels like a heavy burden. It would take forever to pay it off, basically. It just got to the point where it just, you either have to eat or like pay off student loans. To add to their money problems, they learned their family van required costly repairs. At the same time, they needed to buy beds for the twins, who'd outgrown their toddler beds. They'd have to put the expenses on a credit card. Through it all, the couple trusted that God would take care of them. God has done so many miracles in my life that there's no way that some way this isn't going to work out. Their situation took a huge turn when their church, Riverhouse, contacted CBN's Helping the Homefront. Pastor Stacy Long invited the couple over to tell them that CBN was going to pay for the van repairs and buy beds for the twins. You think the kids <laughs> the will girls. be excited? Yeah, yeah no. they'll be excited. And there was another surprise. Another thing that Helping the Homefront <laughs> wants to do is they're going to pay off your student loan so it goes away. <laughs> what do you guys think about that That's one? That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. I think I'm a little bit in shock. <laughs> I don't know, I'm like, I don't know what to think. <laughs> I don't even know what to say, but I'm really thankful. It's absolutely amazing. CBN arranged to fix the van and then took them shopping to pick out beds for the twins. Now that Melissa's student loans are paid in full, the family can finally get ahead. I've been praying for a long time that somehow, some way that God would come through for us and, and he has today with CBN. Coming through, God answering prayers and using you to answer that wonderful prayer from that wonderful couple. Helping the home front is all about helping our active duty military families to say, we're with you. We understand that you're serving too. You're protecting us. We want to protect you as well. When you have a need, we want to step into that need and solve it for you. Uh, you can be a part of that. You can be a part of everything we're doing around the world. How? Join the 700 Club. So go to the phone now. Call us 1 800 700 7000. Say, Yes, I want to join the 700 Club.
Now, when you call, make sure you ask for Pledge Express. That's electronic monthly giving. The bank does all the work, and we can send as our gift to you monthly teaching CDs. So if you'd like those, ask for Pledge Express when you call or just go to cbn.com slash give. When you give monthly on the Internet, you automatically sign up for Pledge Express. Either way, do it now. 1-800-700-7000. We have a $163,000 challenge, and we're ready to go to 50% on that. 82,000 is the red number, and it's coming down right now. Raleigh, North Carolina, $3,800. And then from Fort Lewis, Washington, a founder member at $5,000. That takes it down to $72,000. 21 minutes, 46 seconds on the clock. Be a part of it. Join with us. 1-800-700-7000. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? All right. Thanks, Gordon. Well, God's incredible promises are available to all of us who believe. And on this new DVD, you'll see true stories of those promises in action. Promises of rescue, protection, deliverance, and healing. Take a look. The pediatric ER doctor, she says, we're losing her and I think she's, she's going to pass. I'm crying out to God, but my faith just vanished at that point. I didn't have any hope. I didn't see a way out. We need to take our authority in the Lord. And when we do, we get rid of fear. The I Wills of God, the latest teaching from Pat Robertson, available now. We need to take our authority and God will be with us. He will rescue us, deliver us, heal us, and hear our prayers. If you'd like to learn more about the I wills of God, this is Pat's new teaching, God's promises to those who love him. It's our gift to you when you call right now and say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. How much is it? Great question. Glad you asked. Just 65 cents a day. $20 a month is all it takes to become a CBM partner. Now, many of you are already there at the $20 a month level, and we just want to say thank you. You are making a huge difference. But it's a brand new year. If you'd like to do more, hey, a lot of us would. Let's take it up to our gold level, $40 a month. When you do that, we want to bless you back with three DVDs, one for you and two to give away. If you can go higher, let's go up to our 1000 Club. $84 a month or higher, you're going to get five DVDs. We're in the middle of a hundred and $63,000 challenge right now with 20 minutes left on the clock. Every dollar that you pledge right now will be doubled. Your gift will go twice as far. So please don't delay. This is a great time to go to your phones. Gordon? Well, when Tom Jennings retired from the Navy as a pilot, his salary shrank from $60,000 a year to just $16,000 a year. Still, he and his wife, Linda, always had more than enough. During that time, Linda began praying for Tom to get a better job with a major airline, not so that they could get more, but so that they could give more. As a former Navy pilot, Tom Jennings has flown around the world. Well, the E2C Hawkeye, I've got over 4,000 hours flying that airplane uh, over that 20-year career. Sometimes we would control fighters in air-to-air -air combat scenarios. Tom's not real good at getting the car parked straight in the driveway. But that man could put an airplane on a postage stamp doing the boogaloo in the middle of the ocean. At the start of their marriage, Linda wanted to tithe. Surprisingly, Tom agreed. I knew it was important to her, but I knew also it was the right thing to do. He didn't miss a beat. He said, well, sure. And I'm thinking to myself, now, wait a minute. I know all these people who are born again, arm waving, foot stomping, tongue talking believers who if God wanted to get a hold of their wallet, he'd have to have a crowbar. And here my husband was, he had sense enough to know you better give to God. After 20 years in the Navy, Tom retired. The couple used their savings to pay for Tom to get certified as a commercial pilot. But jobs were hard to come by and the only place hiring was a small regional airline. Tom's salary went from $60,000 to $16,000 a year. Our needs were all met. All the bills were getting paid. I just had to work a little bit harder. We always had more than enough. God told me to tithe 30%. And I want you to know, every place I went, I was finding deals that all the other housewives weren't finding. God just makes all these provisions when you'll be obedient and give. Part of their giving was to CBN. We saw the wonderful things that they were doing, the, the outreach that, the, of the ministries that, that CBN was pursuing. 
we felt like we should support them as well. The wells that were dug and to know that entire people groups would be able to drink water now and for the first time in their lives not get sick. I mean, this thrilled us. We love to give. Which is why Linda prayed for Tom to get a job making more money. I said, Abba, if Tom was flying for this major airline, it'd be a whole lot more than you're getting out. I'm just saying. Eventually, Tom landed a job for a major airline, beating out 4,000 other applicants. Not only was Tom making nearly four times what he had been, their tithe was now more than his entire salary had been from his former employer. Yeah, that was pretty, pretty special. And you, you have to think that, you know, that God's hand had to be in that. Ooh, honey, I mean, when God moves, I just get excited. Then the airline filed for bankruptcy, and Tom lost his $350,000 retirement package and took a huge cut in his salary. But that didn't deter the Jennings, who continued to trust God and never stopped tithing. I just had complete faith that everything was going to work out well. And it did. The company emerged from bankruptcy and set up a new pension program that greatly benefited Tom. During that time, they increased the age limit to 65 for flying. So that extra five years, I flew completely offset uh, the loss of our uh, retirement. Today, the Jennings are Chairman Circle members. Now in their retirement years, they say they're more blessed because of their giving. Oh, absolutely. God has been more faithful to us. Test God. What have you got to lose? You're going to go uh, down to a burger joint. Take that money and give it to God and see what he does. He is faithful. God is faithful, and Tom and Linda are faithful too. Most people, if you're facing retirement and suddenly you lose your job and then you lose 300,000 in retirement savings, uh, they wouldn't be happy. Uh, you, you, you might be complaining. But here, Tom and Linda say, no, we're gonna live it God's way. And we know God is with us. We know he's going to deliver us. And they know the I wills of God that he will be with you in time of trouble. He will deliver you. He will honor you. They put that into practice and you see the result. Instead of complaining to God, they say, God, where's the answer? Where's the way out? Uh, wh what path do you have for us going forward? They put it into practice and you see the result. If you do that, if you do the same thing, you'll get the same result because God always stands by his word. He wants to honor it. If you'd like to start doing that, give us a call, 1-800-700-7000. Say yes, I want to join the 700 Club. We've got 14 minutes left and a $163,000 challenge. 39,000 is that red number. That's a, the amount left to match against that challenge. So if you call right now, your giving will be automatically matched up to including 35,000. The red number is coming down. When you call and join, I've got this for you, the I wills of God. It's a wonderful teaching, one of my father's signature teachings. It'll be your path to peace and security. I want you to have it. It's yours when you join. 1-800-700-7000. Terry? Mr. Chow lives in China, and he would do anything for his son, Ray. And so when Ray was born with the cleft lip and palate, Mr. Chow worked long hours to pray for surgery. Still, he could never make enough to afford the operation, and time was running out. When Mr. Chow's second son was born, he couldn't even hold him. I couldn't stop thinking about his face and wondering what his future would be like. I didn't know what to do. Ray was born with a cleft lip and palate. I wanted him to have a better life than what I could give him. I thought maybe he'd be better off with someone else who could afford surgery. I told my wife, and she asked me to please just hold Ray. So after three days, I held him for the first time. Ray touched my husband's face with his little hand, and my husband wept. The connection was so strong that Mr. Chow vowed never to give up on Ray. He worked long hours to raise money for surgery. Meanwhile, Ray was always in danger. Because of the gap in his lip, he was more likely to get dirt and bacteria in his mouth, so his immunity was bad. Once he got pneumonia, and several times he almost choked to death. His brother tried to feed him fruit 
and it got stuck. He couldn't breathe. He fell into a coma. His brother started to cry and said, I'm sorry, Ray. I just wanted to share. The couple got the food out, but was always worried about what would happen next. When I carried him to the market, kids would shout, I see an ugly monster. One man said, why do you bring him out? Don't you worry about scaring people? So I start covering his mouth with a fail. I just hoped that someone would help him. Then some healthcare workers told the Chows about CBN and how we provide cleft lip and palate surgeries for poor children like Ray. Soon, Ray's lip was completely fixed. Now my baby has hope. Ray can finally eat all by himself, and he doesn't choke. I'm so thankful for CBN. We can really feel your love. Without you, my son would have lived in pain and fear his whole life. Thank you for helping him. It's like a dream come true. Now, Ray's mouth is good. Because of your love, my son can have a normal life, and my family can be happy. You know, it's not just Ray's beautiful smile today. It's Ray's future that you gave him. He'll be able to speak clearly. He'll be hired in, in the workforce. He'll have the opportunity to marry. I mean, you opened up life for this little boy in a way that his parents, no matter how hard they tried, simply could not. I know that that's one of the things that really makes you want to go to your phone and call right now. I also know one of the things that makes you want to do that is that we're in a challenge. It means when you call right now, everything you give will be matched dollar for dollar. I've got an even extra opportunity for you to give more because when you call and use Pledge Express, that's electronic monthly giving. It means your bank does all the work. They send it in for you. You don't have to remember anything, no stamps, no envelopes. We save administrative costs so we can put even more of your gift right into the need of people like Ray, little children like Ray and his family. And our way of saying thank you for using Pledge Express is to send you Power for Life teachings. You're going to get one of these every month. We think they will be a real blessing to you. But most importantly, you'll have the satisfaction of knowing you are touching and changing lives the moment you call. So please call our toll-free number now. Richard did. He's from Austin, Texas, and he said, here's a gift of $2,508. So did Michelle in Bonita Springs, Florida, $2,508. We say thank you. Gordon? Well, Hurricane Michael was one of the most powerful storms to hit the U.S., and Florida resident Steve Wilkerson saw its full force. The high winds toppled trees right onto his home, Steve thought it was going to cost thousands to clean up, but he didn't spend a cent, thanks to Operation Blessing. Steve Wilkerson of Lynn Haven, Florida, survived the storm, but four big pine trees fell on his home. A roaring sound outside, the wind, things flying horizontally, four big crashing sounds when the trees hit the house. All of us were surprisingly calm. Maybe we were just so scared that it was to the max and we couldn't feel it anymore. It's just normal to be scared. But the house survived. Steve and his family are grateful to be alive, but recovery has been a challenge. There's no power, no water, no uh, telephones, no uh, internet. I bet it would be fifteen to twenty thousand dollars to move every tree out of my yard because I had a lot of big trees. Steve had no idea what would happen next. Operation Blessing volunteers rolled up with chainsaws and heavy moving equipment. And when y'all drove up, to be honest, I thought it was just another crew coming up, you know, what, well, $2,000 a tree, we'll remove them all. And then in comes these smiling faces with God's love on, in their heart and their mind. And I'm totally stunned and, and moved. You know, it was, it's hard to keep from crying. And I'm a, I mean, I like to think I'm a pretty tough old guy, but, you know, sometimes tears are appropriate. Drew Anthony drove from Georgia to be part of Operation Blessings Disaster Relief Volunteer Force. When you see that joy, when you see that hope, uh, you know, someone that's gone through so much, uh, obviously, and you're able to, uh, to just be that love and that arm around their shoulders, um, I mean, it's, uh, there's nothing like it. You, you walk away with a smile on your face because you're just excited to help out. Members of Lighthouse Church also came out to help. We appreciate you guys for coming in and, and just kind of being a part of our church because we couldn't do all this without you guys either. So it's a great partnership with everyone. Appreciate uh, 
CBN and, and Operation Blessing. It's just it's just an awesome network. So they're on top of it. You guys have some good people. If you ever, ever doubt God's love, survive something like this and you will see it all around you. We want to strike back when disasters strike. We want to strike back with love and compassion. And we're doing it in your name when you're a member of the 700 Club. A portion of every gift goes into the work of Operation Blessing to help people and help them in their time of need. If you want to be a part of it, join with us. 1-800-700-7000. Say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. You can also go to cbn.com slash give, and when you give monthly on the Internet, you automatically sign up for Pledge Express. Either way, do it now. We want to go way over the top on this challenge, and we're hearing from Brooklyn, Michigan, a 2,500 club member saying you can count on me. They're lifting from 1,000 club to 2,500. Yes. Here's another one from Grandview, Washington. Here's another 1,000 club member lifting. They're going to 2,500 club plus $3,600. Wow. Six minutes left. Call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Thanks, Gordon. Well, in this new DVD by Pat Robertson, you'll see true stories of people who've learned how to grab hold of the promises of God. People like Kate and Terrence Sutton. Now, this couple was gripped by fear when their newborn stopped breathing. Take a look. Her chest stopped moving and her face turned blue, and then I realized, like, she's really dying. I just knew that this trip to the hospital, I might have to say goodbye. I, I literally fell to my knees. I had a raw conversation with God. Lord, you know how to save Torn's life. She opened her eyes and looked at me, and I said, I love you, and she smiled. It was this, like, revelation. This is our time to kick up the prayers. God is the one who heals. Always declare victory. The I Wills of God, the latest teaching from Pat Robertson, available now. Always declare victory. I love that story. That couple was experiencing their worst nightmare, but God turned that crisis into victory, and He will do the same for you. God is no respecter of persons. Just call on God, and He will answer you. Well, we want to encourage you with the I wills of God. Discover how to overcome fear. This is our gift to you when you call right now and say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. The number is on your screen, 1-800-700-7000, or you can log on to CBN.com. That's a great way to give. What we're asking you to do is go to your phones right now and say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. And Terry, you are also a member of the 700 Club. I bet you wouldn't miss that opportunity. You know why? Because we're able to help people like Brenda. Brenda is known as mother to 90 orphans in Uganda. She was once an orphan herself living on the streets. So when Brenda was diagnosed with cancer, she worried about what would become of all her children. But not anymore, thanks to Orphan's Promise. As the rain falls in Uganda, Brenda and her 90 children take shelter in their new home. Orphan's Promise helped them move here after their previous landlord gave them an eviction notice. The old house was really run down. The landlord was a Muslim and didn't like that we were praying and singing gospel songs. At times, we only had one meal each day or nothing at all. Brenda was used to having hardship in her life. When she was young, she lost both her parents and lived on the streets. I don't want any child to go through what I went through. With the help of Orphan's Promise, Brenda provides children here with a safe home, three meals per day, and an opportunity to get an education. Seeing them happy brings me so much joy. On Sundays, we sit under the tree and talk about God's goodness and what He has done for us. All of the wonderful work Brenda does almost came to an end when she got breast cancer. I had painful headaches and felt sick most of the time. When the doctors told me I had cancer, I didn't even know what that was. They said I needed immediate surgery, but there was no way I could afford it. When we learned about Brenda's illness, we covered all her medical bills, including multiple surgeries and chemotherapy and radiation treatment. Today, she is cancer-free. Nothing is impossible for God. Because you saved my life, you saved the lives of all my children too. Without you, they'd all be back on the streets and have no one to take care of them. Now, I can give them a life I never had. Thank you, CBN, 
and thank you, CBN Partners. May God bless all of you abundantly. Thank you, CBN! Thanks to you, Brenda and her children thrive. Gordon? Well, Jason and Rachel need all the help they can get raising four boys, especially at bedtime. That's why they like Superbooks so much. Jason and Rachel Oyer have four boys, so life happens at warp speed. But there's one thing that Samuel, Levi, Benjamin, and Matt will sit still for. Superbook. They're the ones who are like, we love Superbook. It's awesome. Bedtime routine can definitely be crazy at times, but one thing that uh, we had been doing for a while is who's ever you know, brush your teeth and put their pajamas on, taking their shower, the first one down would be able to pick the Superbook uh, episode. We could just unwind all together from crazy. I wanna end the day well with my kids. This is the last thing they're gonna think about before they go to sleep. The boys, ranging in age from four to 10, are eager to tell you about their favorite episodes. I'll tell about a lot about Elijah and the prophets of Baal. They're all the rest of the prophets were worshiping Baal, but Elijah, he was trying to make everyone worship to God. God made a fiery pit and they blasted wide open. It was super good. I learned that God loves us so much. It also makes me feel like I want to be a missionary when I grow up because of all the people that don't know God. Rachel homeschools all of her sons, and Superbook is a vital tool for teaching them life-changing spiritual principles. It's something that can change their daily life. You want them to be able to stand up to peer pressure and not give in to something you know is a bad choice for them. When difficult things happen, to be able to push through and not to give up. Superbook brings all those things together. It's just nice to have somebody on your team with you who wants you to succeed. They want you to raise your children to know Christ. Be a part of it. Give us a call. We're down to the final seconds. 1-800-700-7000. We're hearing from Williamsburg, Virginia, 2500 Club members, Spring Mills, Pennsylvania, 2500 Club, and then Fort Worth, Texas, Chairman Circle, 10,000. What do you think? Well, 2500 from Nunley, Tennessee, another 2500 from Monroe, Louisiana, and get this, a 2500 Club member going up $10,000. That's Weymouth, Massachusetts. Thank All you. All right. It's been a glorious this day we had a $163,000 challenge and against that you gave $257,000. Hallelujah. We leave you these words from Proverbs 28. A faithful man, man will abound with blessings. And this weekend may you abound in blessings. God bless you. We'll see you again on Monday.